The new chairman and Anambra State Universal Basic Education Board, Asobev, Dr. Vera Nwadinobi, has assured of the readiness of the present administration to take education to a higher level. Dr. Nwadinobi gave the assurance during her facility of the board in Oka. Correspondent Jide Kokoe has details. The Asobev chairman was accompanied by the permanent board members, including Member 1, Honorable Ifeiwa Anatune, Member 2, Dr. Kanayo Chukura, Member 3, Lady Teresa Azodo, as well as six directors of the board, which includes the Director of Procurement and ex-official member of the board, Ozo Uchenna Ezani. Areas visited include Account Department, Social Mobilization Department, Audit and Legal Units, Planning, Statistics and Procurement Department, Quality Assurance Department and Department of Academic Services, as well as Administration Department, among other places. Speaking after the facility tour, the Asubeb Chairman observed some challenges which she said that some were caused by wind of previous years, but she will relay her observations to Mr. Governor, who she described as the solution they have, believing that he will always find a way to resolve some of the challenges. Dr. Nwadinobi, who urged the staff of the board to be punctual, committed, and dedicated to duty, stated that Governor Soludo has come with good intention to transform Anambra State for the good of all. As such, all hands should be on deck to support him in achieving his vision and dreams in making education in Anambra the number one and of building a livable and prosperous Anambra. The Asubeb chairman noted that Governor Chukuma Saludo has a high standard, believes in excellence and committed to digitalizing the education sector. There are some challenges noticed in the facilities some of them caused by the wind, like I have told them in the different offices, is that we are here to serve the state and we need their maximum support. In the areas of being punctual to duties, dedicating their time to what they are assigned to do. On her part, the secretary of the board, Mrs. Ebele Mbwemena, said that they observed that some of the staff will be retiring next year, but thanked Governor Saludo for the ongoing recruitment exercise in the education sector, which she said will help in injecting new blood into the system. Mrs. Mbwemena expressed happiness that they have qualified personnel in the system who know the job, urging them to continue in that direction to move Asubeb to a higher level. So what we are seeing today, if there is no replacement, there will be a problem in the system. But I thank Mr. Governor, seeing it necessary to embark on a recruitment exercise, which I believe very soon, no intakes or no blood will enter into the system. In Oka, Njideka, Okoye, ABS News.